This is a can of Mastic. There's many different brands, but Mastic is Mastic. That's all you have to ask for. This is a gallon. Um, I think it cost about $15. It's not too expensive. This is a chip brush, super cheap. This cost 59 cents, this one. And I've got some disposable gloves because Mastic is very, very sticky and it won't come off. Sort of like great stuff, it won't come off. Now what we use Mastic for is duct sealing. It's a, a, a very misconstrued fact, but duct tape, even though it uses the word duct, so you think it was made for sealing ducts, never was. Duct tape is called that because it was originally made with a backing of duct cotton, just a type of cotton. It's the worst thing you can use ever for your ducts because let me show you. All right, so these are the ducts. Most new houses, new construction, or if you had a new system put in, won't have this kind. It'll have flex duct, which is pretty good and very easy and cheap and tends to be pretty airtight, decent. This old system, these are great. These will last forever for basically as long as your house still stands, these will be here. The problem is, they're very leaky. So you can see here, someone used duct tape, which again is pretty typical. People thought that's how you seal ducts. I'm going to take this off. And here's the leak, here's the joint. Now it's fairly tight. Because it's so tight, I'm just going to use mastic straight on it. If you had a bigger gap, somehow it was, it was wider or somehow a gap that, that needed more strength. You'd get, use fiberglass tape, the same kind of tape that you would seam drywall with. So if you go to the store, just ask for fiberglass drywall tape and you wrap it around and then you put the mastic on top of that. So I'm going to show you how to seal just this one joint. But what you would do is go around every joint in your whole duct system and tape, um, seal it with mastic there. Okay, so here's the boot. This is where it attaches to the floor and the other side is the register where the hot air is coming through into your house. I can feel gaps between the boot and the wood. So this is a very important place to be sealing with your mastic. Also, from inside the house, take, pull the register off from the floor and seal all, all the joints you can see from inside. So I'm going to demonstrate this one. This is what mastic looks like. It's very thick. You see, I can pour it slowly. It's very thick. And that's why you want to use these cheap disposable brushes because you're not going to get it off that brush again. But you see, it goes on quite thick. And I brushed there. There was a bigger gap, so I just brushed it into the gap. And you're going to do this all the way around every joint that you can get to. There may be some joints you just can't reach, and that's just life. If you can't, you can't. And that's it. So once you're done, give it time to dry. It won't take too long. Certainly by tomorrow, by the next day, it'll be dry. After that, then you want to insulate these ducts because that's the other thing that's very important here. These ducts are not insulated. So all the heat that's running through them is being lost. Not all the heat, but some of the heat running through these is being lost here in a space that you don't want to heat instead of ending up all in the house. If these were all insulated, you'd, your furnace would run much less because more of the heat's ending up straight where it's supposed to go in your house.